Welcome to part four of Mog Library's series on creating a database search statement. Uh, this part will deal with the idea of truncation. Um, when you're doing a search in the databases, just be aware that one of the major drawbacks to using the machine is that they tend to see not, char not ideas, but rather just the characters that you type in. So um, when you do a search, for example, like this, teenagers and depression, um, you'll get articles that have those exact words, depression and teenagers. However, the computer is not going to see or give you as a match any word that does not match those exact characters. So even though depressed and depression are, you know, the same thing, it just has different word endings, the computer is not going to look for both. It will search for one or the other, whatever you type in. Um, so to get it to search for all of the variations of these words. And you can see there are tons of them. Um, they just have different word endings. But I don't want to do 50 different searches um, for all the various word endings. I want to do one search and find all of them. For that, I use truncation. Um, the verb to truncate just means to shorten. And that's exactly what we do. In a truncated search, you take the word, whatever it is, down to its root. If it has a suffix, you take the suffix off and you go down to the root word. And to that root word, you add a truncation symbol. So the example, um, teenagers and depression, the root word of teenagers is teen and the root word of depression is depress. So to those root words, I add a truncation symbol. Okay. And that truncation symbol is a command. It says to the computer, find the characters T-E-E-N and then any combination of letters that comes after. Now, in this example, I use the asterisk for the truncation symbol, but it isn't always. There isn't one universal truncation symbol. I've seen all of these used in different databases. The way that you know which one to use depends on the database that you're in. Whatever database that you're using, um, check in the Help menu, which is up in the upper right-hand corner, and it will tell you exactly which database, to, which uh, truncation symbol to use. So, for example, in the EBSCO databases, like Academic Search Complete, um, they use the asterisk, the star. So, some examples of this um, would include, like, the word educate. Um, educate without the E. The E is the word ending. So um, I remove that and um, with the truncation symbol it will find all of these words. Same thing with a word like method. Um, method truncation is going to find all of these words. Oh, now here the idea of truncation starts to go off the rails a little bit because what I want is the idea of woman or women, plural, but not these other words. That has nothing to do with what I want. So um, how do I get around that? I use something called a wildcard. Um, and it, it's the same idea as truncation. It's a symbol that replaces characters. Um, the difference is, whereas the truncation symbol goes at the end of the word to replace the, the suffix or the word ending, the wildcard is used within a word to replace a single character. So um, again, in the help menu, it will tell you what the wild card is. And in EBSCO databases, um, it happens to be the, the question mark. So any word, um, I can replace any letter in any word with this wild card, and it will search for you know, whatever word um, meets the, these letters with um, this mystery symbol in it. So NE wild card T will find neat, next, or nest. NE and then any letter and then T whatever it is. So, in our database search statement, which so far looks like this, um, I want to truncate and do wildcards until I get to my final uh, database search statement, which looks like this. I have taken off um, all of the word endings um, and replaced them with truncation symbols, and in the case of the word women, uh, I have removed the letter that's different, W-O-M-A-N or E-N, with that wild card. That is my final database search statement. I have used keywords, Boolean operators, uh, nesting, and, I final, and truncation, and I finally have this um, database search statement. Now what do you do with it? You use it in a database. This is the, the thing that you're going to type into a database. So um, I have a video about that. Come back and see it. And if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks a lot.